here I was thinking, ah, all the news is out. There's not gonna be any more Broadway news. And then boom, it's gonna loud. And all of a sudden, this loud noise hits, and I'm like, what's going on? And then I get an article from Playbill, and it's like, hey, Andres, guess what? There's all this news, and I knew this was gonna happen, because guess what, guys? The nanny is coming to Broadway. Young Frankenstein's gonna be a live action adaption TV thing, and all oh, this Broadway news, and I was like, I knew this was gonna happen, guys. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew the moment that I put down the camera last night, the moment that I got only four views and no one's watching, I knew there was gonna be big news. So anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Andres Frasier, and today we are talking everything Broadway news. We're getting right into it. The Nanny, which is a very, I guess, iconic show. I have watched it. It's okay. It's becoming a musical. It's trending on Twitter. What? And, um, and yeah, it's trending on Twitter. And, uh, I don't really know what to say about this other than why. I mean, I understand big brand shows do great on Broadway, and I know, I know, guys, I know that you guys like seeing your favorite things adapted onto the big stage. However, I will say, I am not a huge fan of The Nanny becoming a musical. Like, what are we gonna get next? The Backyard again as a musical? I feel I would see that. See what I mean? They've got us cornered. They know what they like, and they're gonna take our money from us no matter what happens. Also, my lip is bleeding, I guess. Hmm. Well, anyway. Up next in the news, we have uh, Young Frankenstein, sorry, I almost forgot it. Young Frankenstein is going to be a, uh, which was a musical which premiered many years ago. It's a Mel Brooks musical. It is going to now be a live action um, uh, TV adaptation that's going to be going on ABC in October. I'm going to see it because I love musical adaptions except The Little Mermaid, and I think everyone knows why a lot of people didn't like it. But it's amazing reviews. ABC sees the market, and they're going to go for it. Although I don't know if it's going to be success or not. And, uh, and yeah. And then, in our final couple pieces of news, Sing Street, which is an off-Broadway musical. It's very bands visit very Hades town -y. This off-Broadway show with, okay, it, it doesn't have waves, but I think it can. It's coming to Broadway at the Lyceum Theater, where Christmas Carol and Be More Chill R.I.P. recently played. And it's going to be going in March and opening in April. Now, my thoughts and overall impressions, if this show wins Best Musical, Hey, uh, hey, this Um, Flying Over Sunset, Six, and Doubtfire, don't expect those three to stay super long because Tina, Jagged, and Willa Mouche are covered. Um, but if it doesn't, it's gonna close either in Labor Day, August, or maybe even like sooner than that because personally, I don't think this is gonna have a lot of commercial appeal. But who knows? Stranger things have happened on Broadway. And, um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much all the news I have for you guys. I've been of a short video, but there was just a bunch of news that came at me and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And, uh, and yeah. So anyways, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I will see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully not with more BYU news, because I want to do the next, 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 next thing. See you!